Hello team, so today I'm going to demonstrate a basic setup for FileZilla FTP server and how to save our Wireshark captures to the FTP directory that we set up today. So let's begin. First click on the FileZilla server and as it opens you'll see host will automatically be set to localhost which is the static IP of your console. The port is the administration port, which is set to 141747, and the password that you indicate. So once you've set that up, you would click connect. Now, if you're behind a NAT router, that could be a Cisco router, it could be um, Netgear, Linksys, uh, Republic of Gamers router, any kind of router, it would ask you to set up a passive mode. Uh, range so to do that you would go to edit settings passive mode settings use custom port range 13001 to 65535 set the IPv4 for default and press OK now please keep in mind that you're going to be using your hotspot uh, for this task so for you to be setting a uh, passive mode is probably not going to be needed in this case, but for future reference is something to keep in mind. So to set up a user, you would click on this icon. And as you can see, I set up a user, but I'm gonna remove it so that I can demonstrate how to create one. So first we would say, on the tab add then we'll call it equit once more now we're going to leave the member set to non uh, we don't need this for this task so we click on OK then we'll go to share folders so that we can set a directory path for our user now to do that we click on add I tend to use a local C drive as it's a direct path for an FTP server and I created a file called FileZilla server FTP so I've put FTP folder inside the file server folder and I'm gonna set that as my directory for this user so click on OK so now we have to set up the permissions so that support team is able to download upload modify change uh, drag the document into their desktop console um, so on and so forth so to do that we have to click the read write delete append create delete list subdirectory so on and so forth once we've done this we click on OK and we've created our user and we've created our password and we have a directory set up so now this is the important part we need to know what our WAN IP is. So I tend to go to a site called yougetsignal.com. So to do that, you simply go here. It shows you your IP address. And you can see the URL here, yougetsignal.com. And it's also a port uh, finder, you know, just to see if your, um, your ports are open. So you can see port 80 is open you can check also if your FTP port by default it will be 21 to see if that's open as well and as you can see it is so that's what you have so basically what you're looking to get from this site is your WAN IP and I like to copy and paste my WAN IP so that I have it handy with me and I keep it here highlight it and I just minimize that so what we're going to do is we have to start our Wireshark capture. So to do that, we minimize FileZilla, go to Wireshark, and this is where I'm receiving internet connection here at my Ethernet port on my office console. So we click on this tab, and then to start capture, we click on the upper left-hand corner on the shark fin to start the capture. So let's begin.
Okay, so we're going to stop the capture. And we're going to save the capture that we've done. So to do that, we would go to File. But before we do this, we have to remember that we're going to save it to the directory that we've set up for our FTP server. So we would go to Save As. We would go to this computer. And we would set it up where we have our FTP. In this case, it's FileZilla Server FTP. As you can see, there's already a test, a Wireshark test that I've done, and I've set it there. So we're going to replace that one. We'll save it as Wireshark test, and then click on Save. Replace it. And then we'll close our Wireshark. Now, we have to test and see if our FTP server is working. So to do that, we're going to have to have our WAN IP handy as we have it here. So you would pretty much copy that. And I will go into my virtual machine to test my WAN IP away from my office. Here's the virtual machine. I like to, I tend to use File Explorer. Uh, you can go into a tab, any of, um, any browser that you want, any browser that you choose. And then you can uh, copy paste the URL for the FTP there. But I tend to use File Explorer because I like to be able to drag the folders into the desktop. So in this case, it makes it easier for support team to do so as well. And it saves you time. So I'll go to the File Explorer. And as you can see, it's open. Highlight. And we're going to paste our URL, and this is what it'll look like. FTP, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, 74.72.241.32. The same is indicated in the WAN IP that you saved from UGETSIGNAL. So, basically, you would press enter. And there you have it. Now, our username is the same one we set up at FileZilla. That's Equin. So you can see it's already here. I've put it there. And we have to put our password. Let's put our password that we chose. And press Login. Now, you notice there's a tab behind that. I basically just minimize this. And there you have it. There's our capture. So this is what support team will be able to see. Now I've already done so. I've saved a capture on my virtual machine. So just for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is just delete this one. And basically what support team will do is drag that folder to their desktop so that they are able to have the capture that we've done on site. So just drag it right onto the desktop. And that's it. So that's uh, basically what you, we would be doing with the FileZilla. It's giving access to those Wireshark captures so that support team is able to download it from their end and that they'll be able to um, see our captures that were done on site. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks, team.